So the next step after opening up the center is to pull the walls. So I start by making sure that the outside and the inside are good and, and wet so that I don't have any friction. And then I start at the bottom and um, it's called pulling, but it's really, you're pressing the clay between your inside fingers and your outside fingers so that it has no choice but to go up. So you're thinning it and making it taller at the same time. So um, again, I will make sure the inside is wet and slippery and that the outside is wet and slippery. You don't want friction. You don't want your hands to get stuck. And again, I'll start at the bottom with um, outside fingers, and inside fingers pressing together, pushing the clay together so that it goes up. And I compress the top or press down on the top to make sure that my top stays nice and smooth and even. Um, and then um, once again, wetting the outside. Sometimes I'll also, sometimes as a beginner, I have a tendency is when I'm pulling up to pull out towards the top, which you don't want. You want it to kind of go in or straight if, if, you know, if not inward. So I'll um, bring it in and then you pull again until the walls are the right thickness. See, I pulled it out a little bit. And so then I'll take my hands and I'll just squeeze in a little bit to make it so that it's not flared out at the top and then compress the top. So you'll you'll you keep pulling until it's the right uh, consistency or the right thickness of the walls. Um, so when you pull a cylinder like this, uh, then you can make it into a mug or a vase. Um, if I'm doing a bowl, I pull a little differently. I start pulling it into a bowl shape earlier on, um, but this is just pulling a cylinder, which um, a cylinder is the start of lots of different projects. And so it's one of the most important things to, to learn to pull um, the shape. And so once you've pulled it, the next step would be to shape it um, and also to um, sponge the water out of the inside that makes it so it doesn't soften too much on the inside. So the next step would be to shape it.